Hi guys and welcome in the last part of our series the United Kingdom and today our video is going to be a little long because I'm going to explain a lot of things I'm going to speak a lot of strategies and especially how to prepare for a big war and how to manage your resources and your troops so first here Philippine is on the line and he is having a naval battle with France and my other ally Sweden but uh, here Sweden has requested my naval support so after I prepared everything for the war against Argentina I am obliged to send uh, some support to defeat the navy of Philippines so this support would be five max level cruisers and five max level attack subs this is the perfect combination as I said in the last part in this uh, game we tried to do the combination of uh, cruisers and attack submarines and it is so far so deadly and it defeated all of our enemies of course we should always uh, uh, put the attack submarines in the high seas because it it has um, an attack bonus in the high sea and here I am already preparing my naval blockade on Argentina. I'm going to close all the exits from his coastal cities with a combination as usual of cruisers and attack subs. He has level 4 naval bases and level 4 air bases so practically he can have some cruisers, attack submarines, he can have anything with that level of naval base. This is uh, my city of Conakry, it is an annexed city of components. Here as you can see, look at my productions, I have a lot of production of supplies, electronics, components, everything because I annexed a lot of cities and especially in Africa. I annexed a lot of supplies and component city because uh, my production of the navy, I will not stop it. So I'm going to need a lot of electronics and components. That's why I was obliged to annex a lot of component city. Here I'm going to send a huge stacks of infantry and mobile anti-airs to start taking the lands of Argentina because all of the Latin America except the lands of France is taken by Argentina. So I'm going to make a naval front, a, a, a south urn front also with my land troops who are already on the ocean and a northern front coming from Brazil. He, here are our uh, defenses uh, with uh, naval patrol aircrafts, destroyers, corvettes, just to secure our coasts from um, uh, land troops roaming the seas there, because in terms of uh, high stacks of navy, the Pacific Ocean is already, uh, the Atlantic Ocean is already cleaned. So here in the city of Cape Town, also another annexed city, East London also an annexed city. Here you can see all of our cities here. Uh, I am building a lot of naval patrol aircrafts, attack submarines and mobile anti -airs. Uh Also the city of Lubitu, it is a component city. And I'm going to build level 1 army base and start making some motorized infantry. So now uh, we are preparing for the war. I am preparing all my pieces of chess in the map. Um, Navy is for Philippines, Navy is for Argentina. Land troops are going on their way to be prepared to enter Argentinian cities after we clean his Navy. I'm 100% sure that he has naval units, maybe destroyers, cruisers, we will see later. But I'm 100% sure that it's not going to be easy and he is going to give us a good battle. So here the French Navy is struggling here with two stacks of Philippine is attacking him. Uh, Philippine has a lot of Navy there so he's going to pose a problem. Not for us of course because I have a lot of naval units. So uh, the second I am going to arrive there I will clean everything. Here our, uh, my allies are having war against uh, China, France and Sweden. France with destroyers and uh, frigates and Sweden with huge air force. So these are my cities producing the attack subs and the combo of um, cruisers also. Okay, so now I'm going to make uh, the officers, two naval officers, one for the ships 
and one for the submarines. I'm going to make my navy more strong. I'm going to add one uh, ship's officer for a stack of cruisers, for four max level cruisers and one naval officer, and four max level attack submarines and one submarine officer, the wolf pack leader. Like that, I will have two invincible uh, units that can destroy anything in the water. And I mean anything by literally anything in the water. So as usual here, I'm going for the cruisers. A lot of production, maximum production of naval units. I will not stop. We are already in the day 35. I have max level submarines, max level cruisers. Everything is on top. Uh, we are producing units all the way and now I'm starting to upgrade my army bases to the level 5 because it's time for the anti-missile systems, the TDS, because soon some ICBMs will start flying in the sky and we need to be prepared for it. Okay, so the ships of Argentina are here now and uh, we detected that he has level 5 destroyers. That's good for us because level 5 destroyers has only a range of 75, so we have the range of 100, we have the chance to attack and never been touched. So that's an advantage for us, uh, the range. It's so important in the game, especially in the naval battles, to have a big range. Here are all my land troops, a lot of motorized infantry, a lot of mobile anti airs there. And we are waiting to launch or declare the war and clear that uh, Buenos Aires uh, Sea and into the capital. First, I need to take back my land troops because he can attack them and take them all down. Okay, they are protected with uh, the cruisers, but uh, maybe he have more because I, I saw a lot of naval uh, radars there. There is a naval radar behind his destroyers, so he has more ships. I'm not going to rescue my land troops, I'm going to take them back in order to clean his um, naval units and later enter. We need to be patient before declaring the war, so we need to prepare everything. I'm going to send um, reinforcement here because the southern city of uh, Riviniera or something like that, I don't know the name, it's, emp it's empty of uh, naval units. Yes, this Comodoro Riva Rivadavia. It is empty, it doesn't have naval units because my radars detect nothing there, so I'm going to get back them to support us in the capital, Buenos Aires. I'm going to keep the range of 100 for sure, because he doesn't have the range of 100, we should use it for our advantage. Already Spain is uh, located in, the, in Brazil and he is preparing himself to enter with his large air force and help me with um, Argentina, of course. You see, that's the air force of uh, Spain. He has a lot of air force, to be honest. A lot. Okay, now it's the time to declare the war because I ha uh, my land troops are away. My cruiser is in a position of 100 and now we declare the war. You see, here my cruisers attacked his uh, naval radar and didn't have a reaction from it because he don't have a range. Okay, these are my land troops here. I'm going to gather them in one point and keep them behind the cruisers, defended there, because if he have air force, he can attack me. So I'm going to hide under the anti-air of the cruisers. The attack subs and the other stack of cruisers are now on the way for support. Let's start uh, taking out lands from the northern front. Take Rio de Janeiro. And I'm sending naval recon aircrafts to patrol there also help me have a better vis vision of his naval troops maybe he has more in the other intersections so I don't want my land troops to get sunk in the ocean so I need to have a better vision first we need to be patient until his uh, naval units are dead and we hope that we caught him off guard and he is offline so he doesn't give us so much resistance. 
that's uh, the the thing that makes a large difference in the game of conflict of nations that sometimes you attack people when they are offline and it's going to be an easy battle but sometimes when they are uh, online they can give you some problems so we need to prepare ourselves 100% if our enemy is online we should um, anticipate all of his movement and all of his uh, reactions like that he can do nothing and we already ahead of him with one step here I'm preparing my other stacks that I'm going to prepare them with the naval officers of course the naval officers I will send them for Philippine later because that by the time they will be ready all the navy of Argentina will be down so So it's a slow process. Uh, I'm not going to do a time lapse or something like that. I'm going to show you all the details with uh, a slow pace here so you understand what I'm doing here. Because a lot of, uh, play a lot of players and fans has uh, asked me about the details how to make naval battles and how to invade a good nation. So this is my steps. And in today's strategy, we only used on the land uh, the motorized infantry and mobile anti airs and the cruisers and submarines because I invested in the navy. That's why I didn't have more land, variety of more land troops there, of course, because from the beginning I chose to follow the navy path. Okay, so now I'm going to make our officers. And we are going to name them with the original names of uh, the World War II of the British Navy, Captain George Edward Hunt, the naval officer, and Captain Abel Smith. For the naval officer there. We try to make this uh, the most realistic as possible and use uh, the right names for it. My British uh, fans, you can correct me if I did a mistake about the names, of course. Uh, I expect your remarks in the comment section. But in this game, I hope I made you so proud because I did a huge simulation of the British Navy because we all know in the World War II the British Navy was the strongest so in this game we try to make it the strongest for sure and make a very large and a very big naval fleet so the uh, the Argentinian ships are cleared the city also of Rivadavia is cleared. I'm going to advance to take if there is land units there. Uh, on the lands of Bolivia, I'm starting to take the land city by city. So this is a process of taking the lands here. I'm going to separate them and keep uh, my units, one motorized infantry and one mobile on tier because we don't know uh, where is Argentina now? Maybe he is offline and when he will be online, maybe he has air force. So I will try always to keep my infantry protected with their mobile anti airs in case Argentina have an air force. So I'm going to separate them and everyone is going for a definitive city there. The game is soon will be finished because we already have 5k points. We only need 900 points to win so by the end of this war and after cleaning the lands of Argentina we will win the game this is my other huge stack is still on the ocean I'm going to take the capital it is already empty Spain has cleared it I will keep it for him of course it's his merit I'm just going to pass by and go for the cities of Chile Santiago, Tumuco, La Sirenia, all of those cities. That's our bounty after a large war.
well, it's, it wasn't so large as I expected because I expected a lot of navy of Argentina, but well, it's a little bit satisfying to be honest. I'm convinced that my navy is so big and uh, it's undefeatable, but um, yeah, he have no chance against us. He have no chance. In this game, we worked really hard and uh, it was a fabulous teamwork with my fans. So we literally, we didn't give any chance for our opponents at other players in this map to have even little chance to beat us or have a decent war against us. So there is a naval radar here in Rivadavia, so I'm going to clean it with my cruisers. To be honest, max level cruisers have a lot of damage against land units there. Here my naval units in Philippines has already reached. I can see that Sweden has successfully reached the city of Puerto Princesa. It had no defenses there. I'm going to advance uh, carefully here and try to anticipate if there are any naval units in these waters. I try to clean them up and give the chance for my allies to enter his homeland cities and finish him at once. So he is, uh, here is Sweden and Poland with tremendous and huge air force there. They are waiting until we, the navy of uh, Philippines is down and we will enter it so quickly here. Also Poland have a big war against Kenya, the last African nation. He stacked a lot of land armies there and he is entering it all at once. Also in the city of Cape Town I'm doing some naval battery crafts, of course, to make our naval defense is more stronger and more efficient. Let's go now to take the cities of Venezuela. Let's separate them to make them move faster in the water. Okay, so here we are on the shores of the capital, the Philippine capital. He has some naval defenses there and I gave the order to attack his ships. He striked back, that means that he have a range of 100, but he didn't give me so much damage. That means that I gave him a huge damage for his ship and in return he couldn't give me so damage. So in the second attack it will be down so quickly. You can already know what kind of troops he has by the calculations of the damage and the give and take HP points. Like that, we can easily know what kind of naval troop or how strong is naval troops without even seeing it. Here my attack sub is already inspecting the area and searching for any naval units there. The city of Rivadavia is down and it is already so down on morale because the cruisers did a lot of damage to it and it is ready to be taken by me so I'm going to send some land troops there. Also Spain is advancing with his uh, infantry officer. Look at this, look at this. After I took down Manila, he strike back with two stacks of navy and here my cruisers are stuck in the middle. I'm going to send um, backup from my attack submarines. I'm not going to let my cruisers fight alone there. And send more and more ships and more reinforcements for Philippines. He's making me angry now. I'm going to send all of my navies for him. 
It's a big mistake to make me angry. And I'm going to level up my officers too. Here are my officers are ready. I'm going to add them to their own stacks now and send them for Philippine. Action station. Make me more, more attack subs and cruisers, come on. And Navy recons for sure. Okay, now it's time to think about these Navy recon aircrafts because the game is going to end soon and they need to work a little bit. They need to earn their money. <laughs> You see how I am, I am sending all my uh, land units to the cities here to take them all at once and so quickly without losing any time. I spread them all on these uh, cities because these are conquered cities so uh, practically Argentina will not leave some units there if he know that he is in a war against us so he will send everything he have to his homeland cities to protect them or he will send them to our homeland cities to take them down. So in the both cases he can do it because we outcame him so quickly. So I'm just going to uh, claim my bounty here, take my points because you know that these points we are going to win in this game they are will be added later as gold. We claim a little bit gold of our won maps and we can use them in the next game. And please don't ask me anymore if I'm using gold. I never buy gold. I'm just using some gold that I win from games. It's around 17k per game, 2000, maybe 2500. It's a little amount for sure. It's not like that big bounty that we should be so proud about. But what really makes me happy when I win games is that the statistics. I love to have a good statistics for my games, and that's a good thing. It's already day 39 and the game will be finished soon. Here the naval battle against Philippines is underway. I try to see the attack time. So I'm going to take back my cruisers because their attack time is before mine. I'm not going to take more damage from my cruisers. So I'm going to take them back and send the attack submarines to do the damage instead, you see? And always keep them in the high sea. I will not bring them close to the shores because they will lose their attack bonus. And now I'm going to send my naval recon aircraft that are patrolling all my seas and send them to attack the ships of Philippines because they made me so angry now. They don't want to fall. Also this one, everything, all the naval recon aircrafts I have, I'm going to send them there. I don't think even they will reach the destination. The game will finish before they reach the destination. Because I think it's the last day. And indeed, it was the last day because we won the game in day 40. I was third with 1,164 points. I congratulate my allies for this beautiful win. And thank you so much for watching our series of the United Kingdom. And I hope I made proud my British fans that we made your country so great in this game and had the greatest um, naval fleet. So you see here that there are no more of Philippinian ships. We take them all, only one little frigate here. And of course, thank you so much, my dear fans, for liking my videos and commenting and uh, of course, uh, suggesting it for your friends there. And in the future, we will 
um, organize more games with our fans and with our friends. And see you in the next game. This is the list of the players who won this game. Thank you so much. Thank you for your good gameplay.